Hi and assalamu alaikum. So in this video, I'm going to share on how to do groups, yeah, how to create groups. It's either manually or automatically can be done. So first things first, turn editing on. And then in administration block over here, you will find users. Just click on that one and then click on groups. And this page will just pop out. I will show you how to do it manually first and then um, we can also create groups automatically. So if you already have your students create their own groups in your class or maybe you have already assigned them into different kind of groups, you assign them manually in the class and you ask them to send their names and whatnot. So you can actually add the names in Bootstrapust manually. So let's just have a look at how we do it manually. You're going to have to press create group. Click on that one. And then this will pop up. So you can have the name of the group, let's say group one. And then if you want to add in the pictures of the groups, like each group, they have their pictures taken, you can. Then just click Save Changes. So you see this already, group 1, and in bracket 0. So the bracket means it's actually 0 members. So we have not add anybody in group 1 yet. So just click on that one, and then click Add Remove Users. Okay, and then you will see over here, potential members are all the students that I can just add in manually. Okay, So just click on the names and click add. See? Click more and add. This is simple as that. So if let's say you have accidentally um, add the wrong name you can just like click over here and then remove just as simple as that so i'm just going to keep adding until let's say there's like five students right now we already have five students so let's try the second group back to groups create another group this one is group two Save changes. And then it's already under that one. Just click add remove users. So under group two, you can simply add the second one, the second groups, okay? Second group members. Okay, if you notice this one. Nor Farahim bin Tirahim, and then in bracket one, this is in group one already. And Nor Fahanim bin Ahmad, in, in bracket one, this is also in group one. So we don't want to add these names into group two. So this is the um, the not so cool thing about this over here. It does not eliminate the names that you've already added in other groups. So you're gonna have to like keep alert if the name of the students are already in other groups okay so this one is already added in Muhammad Farhan, Muhammad Farhan is already added in so you just keep adding other students until five members and there we go back to groups you have second group now now you can do this until, I don't know, if you have like 80 students, you can do this manually, right? Let's say you want to delete the groups. You can just click on, let's say I just want to delete group 1. Click on that one and then click on delete selected group. If you want to delete group 1, yes. And then let's say I want to delete group 2. Delete selected group. 
and click on yes there you go all right so if you have 50 students okay even i think 30 students is is, is still manageable if you want to do it manually but let's say you have a lot of students in your class and it's like totally impossible for you to do it manually you can do it manually but it's going to take a long time you can automatically ask putra blast to do it for you okay so you don't have to worry about it let putra blast create the groups for you okay so how you would want to do it automatically is by clicking on this auto create groups click on this one all right and this page will pop up and the naming scheme, um, group A, uh, group, maybe you can go A or 1, whatever. It's up to you. And then you can ask Putra Blast to create it based on number of groups. Let's say you want um, 10 groups. You can. Or you can set it to uh, create group based on the members of the group, the numbers of members per group. Let's say you want in each group there should be five people okay let's just do with that one so members per group click on members per group mm, i want it to be five in each group okay and select members with role yeah you just go with student you don't have to add in this um, the teachers inside allocate members randomly or you can do it by alphabetically by first name last name alphabetically by last name first name or al alphabetically by id number so i'm just going to do it ran randomly i think that would be much better and then prevent last small group so what does this mean is you don't want like the last group to have only two or three people inside a group so you would want to prevent this you want you want it to be like you know almost equally the same for members per group so i'm going to click on this one and then submit now you see turn click on this one putra blast has already created for me the groups so this is really cool um you don't have to worry you don't have to like you know automatically find the names and add it in manually so this is just really cool and remember i actually added um, set putra blast to not create group with smaller numbers per group so as you can see i think um, if i did not click on that i will have another group h here with only two members but it seems that because i clicked on that you can see that the, the extra two person is already in another group so has saved me all the fuss but if i would want to add in let's say um, this nur ashika into group g i can so nur ashika i'm going to remember that name go to group g and then i want to add in nur ashika try to find i click add and then try to find nur ashika there you go and then add it in group G there is Noor Ashika over there okay and let's say I want Noor Fahanim to go to group A I can so back to groups go to group A add remove users and I'm gonna find Nor Fahanim. There you go. And add her in. Okay. So just now I already added Nor Ashika into Group G. I can remove it from the list. Just like that, clicking on her name and press remove. And there you go. So basically I already have all the groups, right? And that's how you do it. You can choose either you can do it um, manually or automatically. But I would like to suggest if you have a lot of students, you can just like auto create the groups. It would be less fuss, quicker, and easier for your life 
because you don't have to do you know you don't have to add in the names manually into different groups so it's easier okay um, these groupings are important when you want to give them assignments once you have them into groups only one member of the groups will send in the assignment so that means less files for you to grade only one file per group that you need to grade so i hope this helps thank you very much